Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome to my channel. Uh, so here is one of my small videos uh, where I'm doing uh, a Christmas tree ornament. And I'm starting with uh, some sections from a tobacco stick. So, um, so my husband just cut these up into five inch sections and um, and this is going to be a snowman so it's going to be the body of the snowman so i start out by painting each of these uh, in the color buttercream but i'm just kind of haphazardly painting them because i want some of that wood to show through uh, because these are going to be more primitive and rustic looking and so i paint all four sides and then one end only because uh, the end that isn't painted is going to be glued to the hat, so there's no need to paint that one. Now, when I make these, I make several at one time because it just goes a lot quicker that way. So, I just go through and paint them all. This particular one here is not even a tobacco stick. This is a um, just a piece of barn lumber that he cut up for me, and uh, it works just as well. Um... But the thing about tobacco sticks is they're very irregular in size. Uh, some tobacco sticks are a lot thinner than others, and um, and just one stick in itself is real irregular in its length. So you're going to get different size, uh, different thicknesses of snowmen, which is fine because uh, you just want these to have a rustic look and like I said if you know if he if you want to just cut up some barn lumber or even just some regular lumber uh, that will work too because we're going to be painting these and if you don't get enough of the dark to come through because maybe you're using a lighter wood uh, then you can just add some uh, darker into this and just distress them that way so uh, just about anything any kind of wood that you want to use will work uh, even a, a one by would work that uh, maybe you um, cut down uh, so that it's one by one or um, you could do a larger one with a two by two uh, but like I said any kind of wood that you want to use you could even take a two by four and cut it uh, down the middle so, and, I, and that one that I just painted is even just a, a wooden dowel that's cut up. Or you could use um, some sort of uh, spindle cut up or um, some sort of furniture leg that, uh, that you have. So, these really can be made with a number of things. And so, like you saw, I just painted all of those. And now for the, for the hat... We're going to use a wood slice, and actually a small wood slice works better, and a, um, and a cork. So, uh, I just start by gluing the cork, and I'm just using wood glue here. I just glue the cork on top of the uh, wood slice, and then that makes your little hat. So I just glue all those and let them dry well before I paint them. And some of the corks uh, I cut in half if I want them to be shorter. Uh, but with these particular ones, I think I just put used all of them whole and just used some of my shorter corks. So uh, especially if you're using a larger wood slice, then you might want to keep your, your cork um, hole but snowman hat have different sizes uh, and different shapes so it works just about any cork will work here and then like I said once they're dry completely uh, and I let them dry several hours and then uh, I'm just gonna paint the whole thing black so I paint um, every angle black even on the underneath of the hat because some of that's going to be showing so i just paint uh, all these black and uh, i think i'm using caviar here which isn't kind of an off black uh, but i just paint them all black and let them dry and again i'm 
kind of haphazardly painting these also because um, I like the look of uh, the distressed look of it and you know it's really hard to uh, distress these with sandpaper because you don't want to um, your snowman to come apart so uh, it's just better to just do your distressing in your paint to begin with and there are a few steps to these so I, I just think it works much better if you just paint all of the bodies and then go through and paint put the hats together and then go through and paint all those so these and in, in doing several at one time it gives uh, the others time to dry so uh, and now i'm gluing the hat to the top of the of the um, snowman and i would use a good wood glue here because uh, we're going to be putting a hanger on the on the hat so you want to make sure that it that it holds well and then there he is dry and put together and now i just take a little strip of fabric and i think it's really important with this to use fabric that's printed on both sides so and then i just kind of glue that scarf uh, kind of over to the side like a scarf would be and uh, and then and I just do that with hot glue and then because I'm going to be using regular buttons on this I've not ever had any luck uh, gluing um, a button to a hard piece of wood or any wood for that matter so I've figured out that if you just take a little scrap of fabric and you don't have to be it doesn't have to be any shape just put you a little scrap of fabric uh, larger than your button glue that directly on and that will hold really well with hot glue and then the button will hold well to that fabric so that's a good way to get your button to stick good and I feel like it adds uh, adds another layer uh, of primitive to this so um, I think it works really well and I did that one year when I, I was having trouble getting a button to stick on and like I said that just works really well and also adds another layer so now I'm just taking some burnt orange here and painting a simple little nose on him and and then I'm just gonna take some black paint and just put little dots for eyes and on this one i'll put somewhat of an eyebrow but just kind of barely and most of them i don't even put an eyebrow on uh, because this is a small face so it doesn't really need it and then i just put some dots for the mouth and that little simple face is enough and it just gives this more of a primitive look so don't worry with doing anything special on the face uh, the more simple I feel like the better on these and then I'm just taking this little eye hook and screwing it into the top of that cork and it, it's easy to start because it's a cork and it does hold well so I screw that in as far as it will go and then uh, but don't screw it further once you're already in to the top of the hat don't keep screwing because then you'll just kind of um, strip your hole and then it won't hold as well so just uh, screw it in until you get enough resistance and then leave it at that and now i'm just taking a little strip of fabric and any kind will work here and just tying or just hot gluing that around the hat and uh, then you could stop at this and not do anything else to this because uh, he would be complete at this point but uh, i'm going to add just a little bit of greenery to this one now i usually don't add the greenery i'm just kind of showing you what you can do but i usually don't add the greenery i usually just uh, leave it at this uh, but um like I said, I just wanted to show you what you could do here. And, uh, but then after I add my greenery, I'm also going to be adding snow to the top of this one. And, uh, I do usually put the snow on there because I feel like it does make, 
enough difference to be worth doing it. Uh, but I just used joint compound and just kind of brush that over the top of the hat and just kind of let it build some snow and you don't have to be precise about it. Uh, you just want to give the illusion that there's some snow on top of the hat and like I said joint compound is really good for that. And I guess if you didn't have joint compound and you did have plaster of Paris you could mix up a thick mixture of plaster of Paris and uh, use that instead. Uh, but I just feel like joint compound is easy and it comes already pre-mixed so um, that's usually what I use for mine. But like I said, the, the plaster pairs would probably work just fine. And like I said, you don't have to worry too much about how you put this snow on here. It's not going to look perfect, but you know, snow is just piling up on the hat and it's not going to need to look perfect. So just uh, brush some on until you feel like it looks natural enough and then stop. And you don't have to put too much on here. Uh, even just a little hint of it would work. And then I just take some string and tie it in the eye hook and that's the hanger. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening and God bless you and your family.